you boys. What are you guys watching the big fat snowflakes? Hey, Mama. Snowing again? Yeah, it's snowing again. Just started. Let me put the let me put your sister down. Okay, little miss. She's got an orange bandage on her paw where she had uh, her IV. I can take that off now. She's basically under spay procedures. Make sure she doesn't overgroom. Nobody else overgrooms. She's basically, she basically has an adult sized spay incision, but it's not a spay. Okay, so her diaphragm is intact, but she has fluid in her chest cavity. They don't know why. Worst case scenario is that she has FIP. And if she has FIP, there's no surviving that. We just make her as comfortable as we can for as long as we can. Yeah, the bandage is where her IV was. It's a pressure bandage. They sent some test out, fluid out to be tested. She woke up pretty quickly, which tells me that her liver is healthy. She woke up and mewed at the vet. Like, I'm awake. Yeah, she is not spayed. She did have a little bit of food, but it was wet food, and she doesn't like wet food, so. Always gotta be nice to her for a few days. I won't break up any fights, any rough play. I've had past fosters that didn't like wet food. Go potty. And then we take the bandage off. Now she still has a rapid breathing. So you're still going to see that. 
I don't know when the test will be back. It'll be back once it gets back. Okay, go say hi to Mama. Then we take the bandage off. She's holding her arm up like this. Mom, look what they did to me. She wasn't spayed because her blood pressure was low and they weren't and they weren't happy with it, so I just, they did not spay her. I take heart in that she's been getting more spunky over the last few days, even before, you know, getting her spunk back, even before the antibiotics. Mama's cleaning you up, getting rid of the vet smell. And there she's purring. They're all over. They all have what have weight and age to be neutered and spayed. My foster dealer, my kitten dealer, wasn't there today, so we, there was no scheduling. And she won't get spayed until she's healed up again. Little Miss Sequin has long lasting pain medication. She did not have a hernia. But they did find found fluid in her chest cavity. Poor little, little lady's purring. Pretty much the flu, her diaphragm was thinner than normal, which explains why they had a hard time seeing it. You saying hi to everybody? Are you going to go check out the carrier? She looks tired. So I'm gonna be keeping a close ear on these guys. If I hear any rough play, I'll come in and break it up. I don't know how much fluid. All I know is that she had fluid in their chest cavity. They took a sample of it to send off for testing. I don't know if that diaphragm will thicken up. Eat some more. We get room. Okay. 
This is from where her IV was. There. Does that feel better? And it wasn't that her liver was close to her lungs. Her liver was close to her heart. Um, what does that mean? It means that she has a thin diaphragm. Now, if it turns out that she does have FIP, FIP, then we, then the only thing we can do is to make her comfortable for as long as she has. And to be honest with FIP, that could be days, that could be years. But when it happens, it happens quickly. And I won't let her suffer. No, they did not take out the fluid. They can't take out all the fluid. There's still some fluid in there. going to make sure that we do the best we can for her even if that means saying goodbye hopefully it won't come to that she's got a cur going looks like it stopped snowing that's good because those big fat flakes that were sticking to the ground the ground's cold. Oh, we have a poop from Buttons. From Button, no S. Looks good. He puts all his four paws together so he's like teetering as he's pooping. Do I think she has FIP? I don't know. I'm not a vet. We'll wait till the till the specialist comes back and says something. Need a little cleanup on aisle butt. I hope she doesn't have FIP.
No, I'm not going to show you her tummy because she's very sore right now. I'm not going to do anything that she doesn't do herself. She may go belly up on the tower if she goes up there. I think the boys will be treating her carefully as long as she stinks, as in smells like the vet. And she's going to be hanging around Mama a lot. I gave her about three days before she's running around again. So the F, it could be an FIV related symptom with the fluid in her chest cavity and that's what we're hoping for. Let me see if I can do a little bit of clean up there. I see photographs still hanging around on the balance beam. This is waterless shampoo by Earth Bath. Grooming foam for cats. Rub on, tower off. Must scat just in case I need it. You sit down faster than any cat in the West. Fast as butt plant in the West. I can't tell you exactly what FIP is. Actually, I can. It's a uh, coronavirus. It's something that pretty much every cat it's exposed to. Um, I think some, it's something like one in eight, if memory serves, one in 8,000 cats will develop, will catch coronavirus and have it mutate into FIP. But cats with FIV, it's like a 5% chance that it'll become FIP. I don't know where exactly the fluid is other than just in the chest cavity. The only way they could properly drain that and take care of that would be to open up her chest cavity and that would be a whole lot more invasive and require a specialist. Did you just butt planted your brother? Good 
Georgia. That's Uncle Cougar. Fortunately, you guys can't meet him. Go away, Cougar. <laughs> okay. I know, I know. Let me see. Elevator up. <laughs> Might be something I just let go. It's not smearing all over the place. Unless she lays down or stands up next to mom. We don't know what causes cause the fluid. She will still be on antibiotics. That the antibiotics is for their mouth um, sores. And it might help whatever's causing the fluid on her lungs, too, in her chest cavity. That's pretty much why she's breathing fast, because the lungs have less room to expand. So in order to get the same amount of air, she has to breathe faster. I got it. I have no idea what it is. And while I am tempted, I am not going to smell it. The rest of it can take care of itself. She doesn't have pneumonia. She doesn't have the crackling sounds or anything like that. The vet doesn't know for, sh for sure why 
she has fluid in her chest. Hopefully what happens is that her body, whatever's causing the fluid to form, stops and her body reabsorbs the fluid. That's best case scenario. Why would I want to smell that? To identify what it is. It's more than just poop that could be on a cat's butt. Yeah, as soon as I know, I will I will share it with everyone. So if you if I don't know, well, you're if you don't know, chances are I don't know. If you're wondering if news has come up, check the video description. I update it when I get pertinent information. Like once I get back downstairs, I will update it with what the current status. I haven't had the chance to do so yet. lacking this. She's like, that's right, pet, what does that make me want to move? I did get a look at her incision and it looks very nice. She has a long-lasting pain medication, so I don't have to give her anything. We're going to wait and see right now. We'll wait and see what the test results are and then go from there. Just to cover it again, if it is, if it does turn out to be FIP, there is nothing we can do but to make her as comfortable as possible. FIP can take days, weeks, even years, before, but when it onsets, it comes very fast.
She's a very spirited girl, and that will take and that will take her far. She's saucy. She's an Indian three-star spicy level, not an American three-star spicy level. Three-star American spicy is like one-star Indian spicy. Had a potluck with Indian food yesterday at work, and they told me it's not spicy. My stomach was sensitive, so I was like, I can't eat. I need to stay away from spice. They're like, it's not spicy. It was spicy. Not for playing, for sleeping. Fluids in her chest cavity, not in her lungs. That's a good girl. Now I'm going to move you to where the boys won't bug you. I think I'll plug up the back hole of this too. And I know Mama's going to try going up into the tower. So I'm going to set these other towers up to make that as easy as possible.
issues was never discussed. So that's, that's not likely any problem. Or heart issues was never mentioned. Now we'll be keeping a close ear out for any sequin squeaks. And if the boys are being rough on her, I'll come in and stop it. But right now they're mostly like, they're actually respecting her. We don't know what's causing her issues. We're waiting on test results. It's all one big question mark. Cougar is protecting the back door. Actually, I'll move over the letter pan to block the back door. You're going to leave your little sister alone, right? Otherwise, I'm going to blow a raspberry on your belly, and you'll probably claw my eyes out. And neither one of us wants those to happen, do we? Almost inspecting the changes. There's no medications other than antibiotics unless she's been given. There's nothing we can give her until we know what's wrong. The antibiotics are for the mouth lesions that they all have, except for mom. Yeah, that's a little bit farther to jump now. Huh. And if the test comes back that it is FIP, there's nothing to give her. There's no cure. It's just a waiting game. And it's 100% fatal. The only thing we can do is make her as comfortable as we can. And not let her suffer. And that's one thing I would not do, let her suffer.
is we don't know when we're going to get the test results. When I get the test results, you guys will get the test results. Until then, we wait till they come in. The shelter does not even know when they're going to get the test results. They come in when they come in. What are the symptoms of FIP? One of the big symptoms is liquid in the chest cavity. Ooh, yep, you just got his that. He's like, I'm out of here. Be nice there, pup. Like a certain Canadian kitten, make good choices. What alerted me to the fluid in the chest? The vet. We had no idea that she had fluid in the chest until he operated on her. All I know is that she had rapid breathing, which kittens can get rapid breathing for many harmless reasons. A growth spurt can give rapid breathing. But she started to get lower energy, and so I so I guess she didn't have a vet appointment on Wednesday. I was going to schedule her one. I noticed it about Thursday or Friday last week, but she was still she, slept, she started sleeping more, which could be a growth spurt. They sleep a lot during a growth spurt. And this is prime age for growth spurts. But when I noticed, like, looking at the video on the, the video banner on the Critter Room Facebook page, she gets so amped up that she fuzzes out. And that stopped happening. So that started ra raising little, you know, okay, time to watch closer flags. But a lot of times she would get playing pretty serious too. So that's that's good. She still has a lot of spice in her. And she's still being active. If the fluid is caused by something bacterial, then the antibiotics that she's on now most likely will take care of it. Yeah. Since these guys have FIV, Cougar can't come visit. FIV means that they're immunocompromised. Their immune system is weaker. Cougar is already weaker. So it's not worth the risk. That was a great little pop-up. Three in three star level spice on the India scale. What Americans consider spicy they don't even register. It's like a totally different ballpark. We're not even in the same league.
button found the heat. Notice the heater vents on, or the, the heat is on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just repeating questions now and answers. So I'm gonna go ahead and step out since she's winding down and the, and the boys are starting to wind down. And I will update the video description with all the information that we have. So if anybody asks, just refer refer it to refer them to it. She appears to be resting as comfortable as she can be. Got a litter on your nose. So enjoy the kittens. Have a nice day.